was supposed to be ironic, but it seems like Hassan didn't understand the hypothetical. I, I just, you know what I'm saying? Um, hold on. I know, so there's just something. Because uh, I, I just want to see the angle he had of that, because, you know, I'm a cameraman myself. Personally speaking, I, I think that he did a really good job at, you know, capturing a shot right here, you know what I'm saying? And, um, just one. <laughs> Think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get acting. I ain't in the street. Stop talking. I ain't no drug lord. Never seen a brick. I bust open them packages. I don't do no crime. No lie to be real. Business. I don't sell drugs, to be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, let's go ahead and watch this Sneeko is going insane, but it's working Yo, a lot of you need to wake up Wake up Come back to reality Get off of TikTok Get off of Instagram You're so stupid Sneeko is going insane but it's working. This past month, he went from gaining 1,000, 2,000 subscribers per day to 15, 16. Bro, his come up is crazy. Sometimes in the 20,000s per day. If you've been following him for many years. See, that's what I'm trying to get, bro. Dog, I, I remember them days, bro. Waking up and you, you 20,000. You know I'm saying? Oh, I miss it. See, that's why I got to be more consistent. On YouTube, you aren't really surprised with his current behavior or mindset, but you're probably thinking he is going about it the wrong way. Sneeko is on a mission to expose the truth. He wants to bring back masculine men, expose the realities of the Western world. Damn, that nigga skinny as hell, bro. One, was you was a jerk for the content sucks comment, but you ain't wrong. Two, convict three, honky kong. Oh Four, really? I'm sending DSG all my crown money today. Yo, Jeff, really, nigga? So you had to repeat what the nigga said with the honky kong thing? Make his followers take the red pill and get rich with him. With his new $250 social media course and affiliate marketing program. Hold on, let me see this. I never even What saw do you call course. a gorilla rampaging through IHOP, waving a banana around? Daquan will chite. Gorilla, gorilla, yep. gorilla, gorilla. Creator Kit, gain access to the most comprehensible all-in-one uh, creator kit for becoming an online entrepreneur and unlock the tools to make money on social media, which will get lifetime access to the Creator Kit, access to uh, Discord community, videos on creativity, passion, and, by, uh, and monetization by Sneeko, exclusive live streams, and much more. I mean, if, you know, I, you know, if it's working, it's working. The thing is, man, you know what I've been wanting to do, and y'all tell me if y'all think I should do this. So, as long as y'all donating, because I think y'all know I'm broke. Um, I wanted to do this, right? I wanted to start taking some of these courses that these people put out there and try them myself just to see what works. Like, say, for instance, right, with something like this, try this out. I already have monetized content and everything like that. I already know what I'm doing. But the thing is, maybe it may help a little more. What if I tried that out for a month? No, I'm not, and I'm not doing it myself. Fuck no. I'm not finna teach anybody anything. Look, what, the, the information I give y'all niggas, I'll give it on the stream. I give y'all the shit for free. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. Until later on. Hold on. Not for real. Don't give up. I'm at 3K subs after like three years. Sometimes I get demotivated, but you have to adapt. Exactly. Streaming has helped. And I've uh, I've grown as an editor as well. Breaks can help too. Don't give up. Not facts, crow. But yeah, I've been wanting to try things like that. Yeah, Hustlers University. I was going to get my consultation with Kevin Samuels. I was thinking about uh, getting FedEx, his, uh, his dating uh, shit, uh, buy me a coffee. I was thinking about getting that, but the thing is, I want to learn more about money. I ain't gonna hold you on it because I don't, I don't, I don't care to learn about dating because I know what I'm doing. But it's like, fuck it, if the information's there, I'll, I'll take that. Austin Dunham, you know what I'm saying? Fresh and fit, you know what I'm saying? But y'all think I should take these courses? And because like, for, the thing is, look, man, I'm not one of those people that is not willing to learn. I'm willing to learn from anyone, whether they have more or less experience, whether they're younger or older. I'm thinking about doing that. You know what I'm saying? Taking some of these courses. And just so I can, like, I'd be able, I, what if they give me some valuable information I can spread to y'all? That's what I'm thinking. You can learn for free on YouTube. What have you learned on YouTube for free? And then you've, you've seen a course that may have shown you something different. 
that's the thing. Like with me, I've learned plenty of things on YouTube. But say, for instance, videos on creativity, passion, and monetization. Maybe there's some things I may not know about monetization as far on, on YouTube. Never stop learning. Yeah, learning equals power, of course. You'd be a fool to be closed-minded to potential growth. Exactly. Some people believe his disorderly conduct is all part of a controlled experiment. Well, today we're going to dive into the world of Sneeko and find out if this chaos is... Cal you got me wanting to make more content right now? LMAO? Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing. I want a lot of people to be able to, you know what I'm saying, do this shit. This is... It's not easy, but at the end of the day, you could be a person... Daquan, those are scams. How would you know? Droid, Droid, Droid Ecker, have you ever taken any of these courses and have you ever applied them? That's the thing. A lot of y'all will be like, oh, what, didn't work for you? You never even applied it. How would you know if it worked, if it if it would, would not work? When you haven't learned it, you haven't bought the course and you haven't applied it. So the thing is, with you saying that, Droid Ecker, I want to see, have you bought any of these courses? Because you said it's a scam. If you're saying it's a scam, what have you bought to know it's a scam? Or are you just saying it because you think that it's a scam? That's what niggas do. They like to come in these streams and shit like that and say things like, oh, it's a scam, but you don't even know. How would you know when you never bought it? Yo, Q, come on, thanks for the 50, niggas! Next stream, go to study some she. All right, bro. Thank you, my nigga. Thank you for showing so much love, bro. Calculated. Drink water. His new chaotic approach to social media is taking place on his second channel called Schneeko. However, his YouTube history dates all the way back to 2013 on his main channel, where he was seemingly just an ordinary teenager playing Call of Duty. But actually, he wasn't ordinary at all. Instead of talking about the gameplay, he would discuss more ambitious topics like separating church and state. All right, so the main issue we're going to talk about today, like we said, is uh, separation of church listen, and state. Listen to the listen to bro voice. Listen to this thing of voice. A marriage, and should the U.S. intervene in Syria? The question at hand is. Should the U.S. intervene in- You made Monkey Kwan mad, lol. Who the fuck- What? what? Monkey Kwan mad? Who made me mad? Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Who made me mad about anything? What the fuck did- What? What the fuck are you talking about? Does, does anybody in there think I was mad about anything that happened? What the fuck? What did you just say? I mean, what did I say that made you think I was mad? What the fuck? In Syria. At just 14 years old, he was not only interested in talking about serious topics, but his ability to rationalize, understand both sides of an argument, and then form his own opinion was very commendable. He also shared- Daquan speaking facts. I started making content in 2019 and quickly grew to almost 2.5k subs in 6 months then got terminated having to start over being hard but got up to 1.13k now and started a new channel doing reactions never give up and just try shit. How the fuck did that happen though? Why did you get terminated? What the hell did you do? And then look at the motherfucker laughing. That's what I just said. I said I don't fuck with you trolling motherfuckers. You laughing. You think something funny. Like so you so basically what you wanted was a reaction or something. The fuck? I hate you. I told y'all niggas I hate y'all trolling. I hate you troll motherfuckers. Now you laughing, but won't even say what you, what, it, what you thought I was mad at. I wasn't mad at anything. The fuck? I don't like you trolls. Oh, man, it was just trolling. Shut the fuck up. And, and I don't know if that's a girl or a boy, but if you was a girl, then you, even you, shut the fuck up. Like, and if you a nigga, then you could really shut the fuck up. Shared stories of his experiences with racism and profiling since he is an Asian American, more specifically Filipino American. Do he but got black like in him? Do, do he got black in him? Super deep and serious all the time. After all, I he still was a teenager he, from. I could have sworn he said he got some black in him. This this is the blackest Asian. This is the whitest Asian. The most Asian black, whatever the fuck. I don't even know. He, he ain't no way he's Blasian. Just like Andrew Tate saying he uh he half white, we half black. New York. His internet rant series became his first popular series that grew his subscriber base. This was essentially a two to five minute compilation of trending topics, viral videos, or internet phenomena that he would give his comedic opinion on. No sh it's a YouTube channel. It's on hey, Sonic YouTube. man, you know that's what they always what, do. What else could this be? One of his fans was actually Mr. Beast. And number two, I have Sneeko, and if you've ever seen Sneeko's videos, you realize that they're kind of addicting. Once you start watching them, it's kind of hard to stop. But whether Yo, shout out to Mr. Beast for that. Do y'all think Mr. Beast would say the same thing now? Be honest. With as controversial as Sneeko is right now, do y'all think Mr. Beast would, would say it or do you think he'd jeopardize his brand by saying that? For serious or comedic, he was gaining subscribers not because of his great video game abilities or amazing editing, but because of his thoughts, his ideas, his mind. Nope. People are like, oh, you don't, you're not Everybody in the chat this. saying no. Everybody in the chat saying no. It's a little known fact that when apes get angry, they show their teeth and gums. So when this gorilla streamer smiles, beware. Oh my God, bro. 
mind. People are like, oh, you don't, you're not a feminist? Feminism is for equality, for equality for both genders. So why isn't it called human? He, he probably agrees, but he, he, he won't say it publicly. And that's how I see it. I am the best at it, and I have to prove it. If I like something, I will prove to you I'm better. I will stop at nothing to keep doing it. It's simple motivation. What have you done? This isn't a rhetorical question. What have you done with your life? For some of you, you're proud of your answer. But for most, you're ashamed. This isn't an insult in any way. For once, I'm trying not to offend anyone. On November. That's a big fact. That's a big fact. So many people will get offended when, like, say, for instance, y'all see how every time somebody says something about Andrew Tate and I ask him, what have you done? What have you ever accomplished? You know how many people will think it's so fucked up that I'm saying that? Why is it fucked up that I'm saying that nobody that's more successful than, than Andrew Tate hates on him? But yet, when you see all these people, like, mean Twitter. I seen another mean Twitter nigga today tweet, um... I agree with Andrew Tate or some shit, and there's some somebody living in some real fucked up ass home and everything like that. My nigga, I agree with Andrew Tate. I guarantee you have nothing like that I do. You have nothing of what I have. You're a tweeter. You're a person who tweets all day and, and, and sells accounts. That's how you make your money. You tweet a lot. You recycle tweets. All y'all do is recycle the same tweets from each other and reply to each other, and then all of a sudden, you, 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 that, and then you sell the account when it makes enough followers. That's it. That's how you make money. You're a tweeter. And all you got to do is recycle tweets every day. You don't even have to think of anything. What have you ever in your life accomplished? Yet you're saying, oh, Andrew Tate is this. Andrew, you're still discussing him. He doesn't know who you are and never will know who you are. You don't even know who you are. You can't even tell everybody who you are because you're hiding behind a fucking NBA young boy profile picture. Shut the fuck up. But it's so wrong when we say shit like that. November 28th, 2015, he uploaded this video titled, How People View You. Most people after watching this video realize that a 17 year old kid has more self- That was, nigga, did, have y'all ever seen that video? If y'all have ever seen that video, that was some real ass shit. Awareness than them. Plus something about his hair changing from being messy and overgrown a, to shaved was a cool artistic touch that kept you engaged. This video would eventually blow video. up, today sitting at over 6 million views, but it actually wouldn't go viral until three years later. You see, Sneeko's crux was that he was terribly inconsistent. He uploaded just nine videos in the next two and a half years. He grinded for two years straight, then when he had the most potential, he quit. Loosely putting out content, barely hanging on to the 20,000 subscribers he had, would better. A young boy better probably benefit him. It was during this time where he gained real life experience to help him be more thought provoking, introspective, and understanding of the real world in his experience. That knowledge and experience was crucial to him upping his quality during his consistent return to the platform in 2018. He uploaded 10 videos in 2018 and the quality increased a lot. There was no cons- I ain't gonna hold y'all though. If somebody make a video like this about me, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be like, come on, bro, shut the f- leave me alone. Not, but not this, this ain't bad. I'm, I'm just talking about, if people start making videos about me, oh my God, I'm gonna hate it. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably stop streaming and everything if niggas start making videos about me because I really hate niggas like talking about me. Like, bro, unless they can talk to me in person. If you can talk to me in person and have the same energy you have on your video, cool. Other than that, please don't do it. But this is a good one though. Consistent style, sometimes it was an introspective oration or a funny reaction video. He even got an opportunity to work for Mr. Beast that summer. It didn't last very long. He was only featured Boy, in one video good. and was later fired. He quickly saw an opportunity to grow his 27,000 subscriber base and made a video titled Mr. Beast Exposed. He uploaded it, got 30 views, and then deleted it. But one of those 30 viewers was Mr. Beast. That video, even though it was deleted after a few minutes, damaged the relationship between Sneeko and Mr. Beast forever. That's how it works. I didn't want to be the guy in Mr. Beast's videos. I wanted to be Mr. Beast. The reason he was fired was simply because he wasn't a good fit for the position. And over time, Sneeko realized that. At one point, he inspired Mr. Beast. But now Jimmy was getting millions of subscribers. Sneeko's ego trumped that's his crazy. ability to understand that the reason why Mr. Beast had 4 million subs. Now see, that's something I couldn't do. I, I can't hate on another nigga. If I was around that nigga, I'd be so fucking happy to see him uh, getting that many uh, subs and shit. National Geographic makes video about you. Of course, of course. Nah, no bullshit. I would be so happy to see that though. I would be so happy to see that growth. I wouldn't, I, there's no way I would be like, yo, I would hate on it or be like, oh, I can't be around you because I'm watching you grow that way. I'd be happy every single day, bro. Had nothing to do with the reason why Sneeko only had 27 Bro, y'all see me, nigga, fresh and fit, they done beat me out. I told y'all I was gonna do it. Have y'all once seen me say, damn, fuck fresh and fit? Or I wanna be fresh and fit? Or anything, y'all have never seen me say that. I'm happy as fuck. What, didn't I tell y'all I was gonna do it? Didn't I tell y'all Kevin Samuels was gonna do it? Kevin Samuels, when we first saw the nigga, he had 100,000 subs or something like that. I told you he was gonna beat me out. Nigga ended up with a 1.1 million. Uh, fresh and fit, them niggas beat me. Did y'all see me say anything about that? I was happy as shit. I'm happy when all these niggas do it, bro. Rage. When Rage did it, I was happy. I'm happy when everybody does it, bro. 
thousand subs. I'm happy In other anyway. words, everyone has their own path, their own trajectory. And unless you make the same exact content as someone else on YouTube, y'all are not competitors. On top of that, he just isn't the type of guy to work for someone else. He wants to be- Oh, look, 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 look. Nigga say you, you, you be saying you trying to be like them though. Yeah, I'm trying to be like them. Yeah, that's motivation. That's not saying I want to be them and, and I feel like it's fucked up that they're getting ahead of me. Or I want to be them so I can't talk, I can't associate with them anymore because they're doing better. That's not saying that. I do say I want to be like them. Why wouldn't I want to be- in the financial positions that they are in. Why wouldn't I want to be? Can I show you my growth? Where's your face? No. But y'all mean to tell me y'all, y'all, okay, put it like this, right? How many people in this chat, if you're a content creator, would want to get to my position where I'm at? How many people in here would want to get to uh, my social status, financial status? Now, uh, how many people in here would want to be Mr. Beast? You see what I'm saying? Who the fuck wouldn't? Are you serious? But am I going to sit there and, and downplay anything he does or anything like that? Fuck no. Or am I going to sit there and be like, I can't be around him? Hell no. Get me around, Mr. Beast. I'll be happy as fuck. And again, 500 million, I'd be happy as shit. I'm never going to be like, damn, I'm only... Nigga, I could stay at 800,000 subs for five extra years, and I will still be happy as shit to fresh and fitter where they at. Them niggas get 5 million by then, and I'll still be happy as fuck regardless of where I'm at. Look at AMS. AMS at 500K. You think if AMS passed me up, I'm going to be like, damn, that's fucked up. Oh man, fuck man, fuck that. I, I can't fuck with him. I'm gonna be happy as fuck, man. I'm happy as shit, bro. Be the boss, the CEO. After the passing of rapper XXX Tentacion, he posted this video called Why I Still Listen to Artists Who Beat Women. This wow. is where I came across Sneeko. While watching, he accurately explained the hypocritical mindset of supporting artists who have done or are accused of terrible things. I was wildly impressed at his breakdown, and it felt like he was speaking I gotta my see thoughts. That. He closed the video with a very powerful message. I gotta see that. But don't go full fanboy and refuse to believe your favorite artists aren't angels. Don't blindly justify their shitty behavior and never worship celebrities. The best way to treat these people is like you would- Oh, I'm saying Sneeko didn't leave because he was hating, but because um, he wanted to focus on himself. Okay. See, it, it, it's just the way I see it, the way I seen it on here, the way, what he said. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm just trying to get into Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast video and get money. Would anyone else? Flawed humans with consistent questionable behavior. From here on out, the quality of his videos just kept going up. On September 13th, 2018, he hit the streets Yo, just got to for the two dollars, bro. People. Can white people say the N-word? Wow. Hell yeah. Hell no. I'm good. What y'all thinking? Can white people say the N-word? Well, not, no. No, a DSG. Is that really a question I want to ask DSG? I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I don't know. Is that really a question to ask DSG? Knowing y'all niggas? Oh, my God. We're mortal at it. What up, Democratic Robert? Nigga saying mortal, mortal, I wish. No, mortal says yes. Mortal getting ready to let it rip. <laughs> Nigga said mortal getting ready to let it rip. Mortal says it. Nigga's just MMA fan won't say it. <sighs> Three months after he posted this video, his channel exploded. He went from 30,000 subscribers to 130,000 subscribers in 24 hours. Damn, it nigga! Six years for him to be an overnight success. From here, his back catalog started. If any. Yo, you asked earlier about being a content creator. There it is right there, Diff. An overnight success. It took six years to be an overnight success. Remember that. Started gaining more and more views. People were realizing that Sneeko was their woke best friend that they were ignoring for a long time. His scribble drawings over New York City B-roll complemented his thoughtful essays perfectly. This is the era where Sneeko built his core fan base. This style took him from 100,000 to 500,000 subscribers in about six months. When he wasn't reflecting on his own thoughts, he was asking people on the street for theirs. Typically, these videos got more views. Once he officially branded these street interviews as the one minute podcast, he went from 500K to 700K. Then the to pandemic Sneeko, bro. hit. The way the world changed and flipped upside down seemed to have a pretty large effect on him. He was always challenging the societal standard. You know, like the stuff everyone believed but never asked themselves why they believe it. But there's a reason we have gender roles. Hold up, before you, before you- Daquan's a white man, he says it. Wow. He was taking the red pill, which is a term based off the movie The Matrix, where you take a pill and essentially realize the truth. Daquan, how would you feel about people doing reaction videos to your videos? Just curious. I want them to. I don't mind. I want people to. I don't feel like I say, I do feel like I say some controversial things at times, but I want people to react. I'd like to see people's opinion on my videos. That may be able to sway my judgment on, on like how I even think of some things. Yes, I, I, I don't mind it.
truth or realities of the world, or you take the blue pill and remain ignorant and happy. Red pill was kind of adopted by Republicans spreading truth, but during this time he was expressing his thoughts and emotions in a clear and calculated manner. I was about, this thing MA fan said, I did and you copyrighted me. I was about to say, nigga, you know damn well I didn't, bro. Being poor is a mentality. And if you say that online or in a woke place, there'll be a horde of people coming explaining to you why that's offensive because I need to pay for my brother's surgery and I can't work. Be Obviously, I'm not talking about those outliers. That's like when fat people say, it's not my fault, I'm fat. What's up, Daquan? Sorry, I'm late, but damn, you will be missed on Twitch, but we back good, free on the toe turn TF up DSG. You know, we've been turning up this whole stream, bro. Glad to see you here, Cleach. I, I have a thyroid condition. Like, yeah, fatty, clearly I'm not talking about you. I respect how honest and unapologetic Sneeko is. This guy is just too real for this world. At this time, he was controversial to the people that didn't agree with him, but it was nothing compared to what he is now. Stop objectifying me? No! Everything you've been bro. told is a lie. Let's not be soy boys, come on! Stupid! Sneeko and many others didn't like the way the world was handling the pandemic. During the George Floyd protest, he watched his city get burned and looted. He watched Portland build the autonomous zone and interviewed people who were protesting the police. So we, so we should loot? Yeah! We should loot? Looting is redistribution of wealth from corporations to individuals. It's ill-gotten wealth. It's stolen goods, man. It's Sneakers? All... Yeah! Wow. It seemed like he was leaning more and more on the Republican standpoint, but maybe that's just because he wasn't praising and idolizing the liberal status quo. If you voted for Biden, you're kind of a bum. If you voted for Trump, you're also kind of a bum. I would never vote for somebody in the Democratic Party because of how corrupt they are, how phony they sound when they talk, how like uppity uppity they feel. Bro, Joe Biden dead ass said that you're not black if you don't vote for him. Like, are we, like, come on, bro. How can niggas look at shit like that? And he ain't no shit. Can anybody in this chat name one thing Biden did for black people? Like, that was some wild shit. And I hope YouTube don't uh, fucking try to, you know, Take this down for like mis misinformation because he dead ass said that. That's exactly what he said. Hey, yeah, Brick Pickle. That's got to be racist. Like, come on, bro. Biden dead ass said that. That's crazy as shit. Because, oh, we're not racist. So he was kind of taking the role as a libertarian or centrist, but because of him not wanting to vote Democrat indicates he leans a little right. For Nigga the rest Jesus of 2020 he voted for and really until today, he just kept grinding. Thank you. Falcon even said, name one thing Kamala Harris has done for black people. Lock the niggas up. And feeding his audience with status quo challenging and thought provoking content. He became one of those YouTubers favorite YouTuber. A lot of other creators praised his work and respected his artistic approach to the platform despite him not being insanely Bro, popular. Bro, no. I got to find that clip because I don't even want to spread some information like that. He, I think said he compared black kids to roaches on his legs. I ain't know he said that. I mean, don't I, I got to see that because I can't even I'm not even spreading that message wrong. He was approaching 1 million subscribers, but he was averaging about 200K to 500,000 views per video. But it was on his second channel where everything started to change. No bullshit. Schneeko was the name of his other YouTube account. In 2019, it was kind of just throwaway clips, random vlogs, and long-form podcasts that he wasn't consistent with. But in classic YouTube fashion, the glorious second channel is where things get more personal and less polished. 94 crime bill was all. Yeah. Yeah. I looked that up before, bruh. I think it was because of like Steven Crowder or something like that. I remember that. And professional. On July 13th, 2021, he uploaded talking into a camera and uploading it to youtube.com. And lo and behold, Fisheye Sneeko was born. The way this shot feels like coming off a bad trip or ego death. The four minute vlog is literally him showing a bunch of people how cool his new lens is. If you don't know, a fisheye lens gets such a wide shot that you can literally put the camera touching your nose and still be able to see a wide picture around you. So Once I've he got this lens, lens, his content got more up close and more personal than ever, and the fans loved it. I seen fisheye two seconds in and I knew this was finna be a banger. He was in a relationship, he was traveling, and he seemed to be very positive and happy. The vlog. I can't wait to start traveling more He too. came to your churches and you all tapped dance to the poles. Bro, nigga. And then, ni bro, niggas was wearing dashikis and everything, bro. Whole room full of crack. White people. I'm allowed to, am I allowed to call them that? Whole room full of crack. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get banned. But a whole bunch of them motherfuckers in dashikis, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas wildin', bro. Vlogs were getting solid viewership, and as a creator myself, nothing boosts your confidence more than just filming your everyday life and people watching it. Literally gonna one take this and just try to 
get it on camera because I don't, yo, I don't fucking care about anything anymore, yo. This mentality was very relatable to a lot of his audience, but it was about to change Sneeko forever. He got into a beef with Hasanabi, who is a massive- That's bitch. who that nigga- Whoa! That's that nigga looks like under the hair? Bro, I didn't know that's what the nigga looked like! ...to a lot of his audience, but it was about to change Sneeko forever. He got into a beef- This is what this nigga- This the nigga that be calling everybody an incel? Yo, I didn't know the nigga looked like this under all that- ...beef with Hasanabi. This nigga look old as shit! How old is this nigga, bro? Let me how, let me look up how old this nigga is, man. How old is this nigga? Bruh! Nah. Bro. Nah. Nigga, who, who look older? And DSD, no trolling. No trolling. Strong hand no trolling. You when you was trying and to pull the heist wheelchair at TJ Max, And you gave him the stanky the? leg and melted him. What the fuck did just, bro, why does this do this? And it plays old ones. Just bro, play the older? inbred video before I tell Chiquita to pull your sponsorship. Why does this do this, bro? W Strong why does, Brack why does, Man. Why does you w Brick do Boy. W Streamer. This w is Father. Shit. W Big Popper Pump. Nah, this, this is what I be meaning. Y'all niggas like trolling, man. I I'm been watching you for a minute. Will ch I don't know why it's playing old donations. Nah, y'all. Keep it a band, bro. Like, this is what I mean. Y'all niggas just come on here trolling. The nigga, bro, I'm 33. This nigga's 31. That's crazy. Oh, my God, you know trolling. Look at this nigga, bro. I'm pretty sure he dated this the porn star Janet Janice Griffith. Who's that? You look older, bro. Nah, he do look older, though. I, that's what I'm saying. He, nigga say he looks 50. You look 100. God damn, bro. Nigga look old as shit. I ain't realize that, man. Why is this shit playing old donations? I don't get what's up with YouTube, bro. What is up with YouTube and doing this, bro? This is weird as shit. I don't know what's going on with that. Well, let's get back to it who is a massive political Twitch streamer who represents leftist ideals. Funny thing about these two beefing is they both really like Bernie Sanders and probably would have voted for him. Anyways, he looked younger reacted in that to picture. one of Sneeko's videos called How to View Women, where Sneeko takes on the role of a man who's insecure, can't talk to women, and wants to not end up like an incel. The visuals consisted of him filming women from a distance, which was supposed to be ironic, but it seems like Hassan didn't understand the hypothetical- I, I just, you know what I'm saying, um... Hold on. I know I saw it. There's just something. Yeah, because I, I just want to see the angle he had of that because, you know, I'm a cameraman myself. The visuals consisted of him filming women from a distance, which was supposed... <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is a good angle. You know what I'm saying? supposed to be ironic, but it's... This, this is a nice angle, bro. So, yeah, man. See, that's the thing about being a cameraman, bro. See, that's the difference between, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people who uh, who who try to do film and people who are actually into it. See, Sneeko knows the right angles, you know what I'm saying, that he could get, you know what I'm saying, that he needs to get for these types of videos. And that's why, I like, I respect him. Because it's videos like this, you know what I'm saying, that are, like, informational and things like that. And videos that we probably need to look at, if I'm being honest with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that may be a video we should check out. And, and it has, like, because, like, the thing is this, right? And then it's, there's a rule of thirds whenever you're doing film and stuff, right? So, right here, you're not you're not supposed to have the person, you know what I'm saying, directly in the middle. So, they, they have, like, this, this grid and shit you're supposed to put it on. And, personally speaking, I, I think that he did a really good job at, you know, capturing a shot right here. You know what I'm saying? And, um, just one. Just one, bro. I, I swear. One, just one. That's all I need, bro. Seems like Hassan didn't understand the hypothetical perspective Sneeko was creating and just resorted to calling him an incel. Bro, this dude was like, this is healthy. This is a Like, bro, that's the thing. If you look at Sneeko and look at him compared to this nigga, come on, who really who really is the incel? Sneeko or Luigi right here with the fucking uh the fucking Bret Hart wig. Like like nigga, really? Like, let's really be real. Cause I hate when niggas just throw the word incel around. I told you niggas, I got called an incel on Twitter so many fucking times, bro. God. You already know, nigga. No, ain't no MMA fan. Thank you for the ten dollars, bro. But yeah, nah, I don't know what's up with niggas calling niggas incels. Niggas just, and this nigga like throwing the word around so much, bro. 
The nigga love throwing the word around. And so, and so, and so. My nigga, if we really keeping in a band, if we looked at both of these niggas, bro, who are we really going to say is an Enso? This nigga or Sneeko? But I don't want this nigga to find me in my streams. Oh, my Lord, bro. I cannot imagine this nigga finding me. A healthy way to do things. I am going to go and film random women and harass them. Dude, I, I, this is wow. Obviously. This is the way the nigga even talk, bro. Come on, bro. You can tell the niggas don't get no bitches. Nico wasn't a fan of Hassan's reaction. Like, say, for instance, with Ben Shapiro, I love that nigga. But, you, like, Ben Ben Shapiro, you, you was only bagging your wife, bro. Like, well, now nah, he white. It is kind of different with white niggas, bro, because white niggas really be having they pick it a little when it come down to a lot of shit, bro. But I'm going to talk to y'all about that one of these other days because I think I'm going to do a video on it. But, like, it'd be, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this shit. But, oh, he bi? That's what it is? Hasanabi's right. Yes. Ha ha ha. Toxic man. I don't like him. He's creepy. But you're not you're not saying anything about the video. You're just call, you're just insulting me. Aren't you the political streamer? Say something political. Him and his girlfriend broke up. Now relationships are extremely complicated and basically nothing posted on YouTube. See that that's the thing about the nigga Hassan constantly calling Sneak on Enso. How's he an Enso when a nigga has fucked plenty of women? I don't get it can indicate how things truly are, even for Sneeko, who's very open and honest about his life. Plus, apparently it was an open relationship, and I don't really know how that was working at all, to be honest. But we can assume, based on what he said here, that he wasn't taking it all that well. What I do miss about having a girlfriend is just like, you know, I'm a miserable, like, bitter person. I'm always angry, and like, you hear my voice right now, I'm like, Meh, ugh. Like having like a, like a, yay, woo, yay, let's go apple picking. It's good to balance off how bitter I am. But once they broke up, he went full red pill. Blatant, anti-feminist, no more sugarcoating, no more trying to word it nicely, just stating exactly how he feels. Which is a good thing. It feels so good when you can be free like that. Do you really don't think that they're trying to emasculate the world and take away what it means to be a man? A man? I see I see the same like, ugh, ugh. like just meeting you for the first time, like, yeah, that guy hates women. Nah. And I, I, I get it. I hate women too, bro. Like it, it builds up. It's not really your fault, bro. <laughs> I, I, feel like I gotta I'm watch that. watching Sneeko turn into a villain. He started live streaming on YouTube. He shifted to strictly reaction-based content that is clipped from live streams and made into YouTube videos. The way to start is when she starts doing stupid shit, say, bitch, you're acting stupid. That's what they do. They need to hate us. We're losing the basic forms of society. It's crumbling apart. Shut the f up! Shut up! You see, is that this is all fing noise. Was that the same girl we had up? Oh my god. That's that same girl we had up. That's that same girl we had up, and we was like, yo, shut the fuck up. You see? Y'all remember we couldn't even make it through half our video? Is that I this think we made it through like two minutes of our video and we had to cut that shit off because she was so boring. This is all fing noise. The reason that there's so much bullshit is because we're all just fing making content now. This YouTuber did not do his homework. Those last three clips, he was still in the relationship. Oh, I didn't know that. He would often praise the almighty alpha male Andrew Tate. Watch my Andrew Tate videos if you want the full background. But basically, Andrew is the single most polarizing conservative red pill alpha male guru to ever grace social media. There's two types of egos. You've got people who have egos who don't deserve it. And you've got people who have egos who have earned it. You gotta earn your ego so you look like a fuck. Asshole. And that's what triggers a lot of people about Tate. And I've, I've felt the same way my whole life because I've been, I felt like I've earned it. I am the man. There's no one on this planet who can do shit I couldn't do if I put my mind to it. Would y'all say my confidence has changed since I've started streaming and stuff? Would y'all say that? Compared to my first YouTube streams, obviously y'all saw how I used to look back in the day and stuff. Would y'all say I've earned this the, the, the way I talk now? Would y'all say I've earned it? Because y'all know there is a clear change, obviously. But would y'all say I've earned it? Like, yo, would y'all say I've earned to be, able, to be able to speak the way I do now? Yes, yeah. No, 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 you ain't gonna retract that. Jacob, I saw that. I saw that, no. Nigga, it's still there. You don't see it still there right there on the chat, bro? I saw that, Jacob. For damn sure, yes, yes, yes. Obviously, you earned your ego. You, Yeah, you earned it. Uh, you, if you put in the effort. Yeah, Brackman. Yes, sir, you've been earned it. Confident Brackman, you were super depressed. I was so fucking depressed. Gorilla speak, wow. Uh, Gorilla grind set. 100% Gorillionaire ego Why wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely LOL, LMAO I thought you said something else Oh, okay Alright, Jacob Yeah, I ain't know You know what I'm about to say I saw that nigga I caught that, bro I read my chat like a motherfucker People will text me like Oh, so you just think like you're You just like Nigga says strong brat gorilla -sy. Like, Oh, you just like have money And you're You think you're so good looking And smart And fun Yo, you think You think you're the man, right? And I'm like Yeah 
<laughs> the link said, yeah. Sorry, Facts. I'm late. You keeping this up? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not how it works on YouTube. As long as you're a member, I may leave it unlisted to where you can watch it. Because I think there's a way I can do that. There's like a thing, because I have to give my members a perk. It has to be some type of perk. So I may be able to do that and leave it unlisted and only members can watch it. But as far as it being up, no, we'll, uh, the, the, we'll drop clips. But the members will be able to watch the full stream. Yeah, I do. Now that a lot of people are finding this, they're saying, why are you just copying Tate? I've been saying the same since 2015. People started drawing comparisons, saying that Sneeko is copying Tate. That he's obsessing over him. Nigga said we getting perks, brick pickle, not really. Come on, nigga. Really? What's up with y'all the perks, nigga? However, Sneeko has been on this red pill on? woke journey really? for years now. And there are even some things he said back in 2015 that feel very similar to his current viewpoints. I am. Bro, hell yes, I remember when you couldn't even speak on stream. Bro, oh, nigga, because I was so fucking depressed. I'd be sitting there just mad as hell and shit. And then my fucking ex would come in there and bother me and shit. Nigga, I promise y'all niggas, bro. Just to let all you niggas know, I promise y'all would y'all would have never well y'all don't see that. Y'all see it as it is. So y'all know damn well it wouldn't happen. Y'all would have never saw me like that if I wasn't trying to keep a family together, nigga. Y'all would have never. I would have kicked that bitch out so fucking fast. That bitch would have been on a fucking curb, bro. I swear to God, bro. Y'all would have never. Nigga, just remember that. For any of you niggas, don't ever try to do that shit for a family, nigga. I tried it, bro. I tried that shit for five years straight. I hated it. Y'all would see it so many times. I'm not a feminist, and for some reason that means I'm against gender equality. That Whenever I tell people so that I don't consider myself a feminist, I get the same response. Feminism is for equality of both genders. One, if that was true, it would be called humanism. It's already hypocritical in the title. Then he started beef with multiple other creators for seemingly no reason. The most ridiculous of them all can be summarized very quickly even though it went on forever. Hamza a well-liked self-improvement YouTuber who dedicates his platform to focusing on bettering your mind and body, Sneeko reacts to one of his videos. I don't want to watch this, bro. Dead ass. I'm just a cool guy. I don't want to watch this. Uh, bro, I think you're all a little gay for liking this, bro. It's just, it's too self-helpy, bro. It's too self-helpy. Or a man who p can be perceived as a threat. Then he proceeds to react to Hamza's video, making a cringing face, insinuating how boring it is, even though Sneeko himself made basically who, who is Hamza? Or Hamza? We, do we gotta watch that nigga one day too? The same exact video just two years earlier. I heard the nigga name before. Shit is I'm just I trying to be better that. every single day. And that's consisted of me quitting weed. Quitting is like a loose term because I haven't regularly smoked weed in like a month, in a week. So it's been like five weeks now. Hamza but I cheated maybe one time in Paris. Self-improvement YouTuber. Um, also, Hamza made a video up. responding to Sneeko where he was blindsided, thought him and Sneeko were cool, and that he was disappointed. But in this beef, I found a clip that was very interesting. I'm not your role model. I'm not your friend. I don't know you. Don't try to be like me. This is entertainment. So just when you think it's Ooh. going to spiral out of control, the self-aware Sneeko pops up and basically hits us with the I'm just joking. I started to think about other popular creators. Aiden Ross, I Show Speed, Hasanabi, H3H3, Jadeon. The thing they all have in common is that they're almost always in controversy. Whether it's intentional or not, they- No bullshit, I don't know how Jadeon keeps ending up in controversy. Like, I, I really thought, like, Jadeon, like, he's, like, a really wholesome individual. I don't have no clue how he does it. Always have people talking he, about he him, constantly doing commentary drama, and I'm like, videos, how? Trying to cancel But not, him. like, drama. He starts, like, well, he, the Pokemon shit. But, yeah, Jadeon keeps getting a lot of shit, and I, I would have never expected that of him. Some are more controversial than others, and they all handle the drama differently. But all this does is just make them more popular. Sneeko took note of this, so he ramped it up. The new generation is literally becoming, like, the R word. Pride, yeah, I'm a girl and I don't shave my armpits. Who preach this bullshit idea about tolerance, love, and acceptance will also say die if you disagree with me. They laugh at us. Ha ha, give me your money, wallet. As you can imagine, TikTok was always a big vehicle for promoting his YouTube videos. The content he makes is perfect viral TikTok material. He started posting his stream clips on TikTok, as well as instructing his audience to clip his reactions and post them on TikTok. They started going viral. The Sneeko hat- Y'all gonna, gonna start that with me? Y'all gonna start- Nah, y'all ain't gonna post my shit. Please don't. Cause like, I was looking at that one clip of like the, that one fat girl when, when, she, when she was laying down on the bed and then she tried to get off the bed and she started- and I got on the ground back here and I was like, yo, this bitch is waddling. Bro, she's a whole warrain. Like, it, it, when I called her a warrain and shit, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of taking her far. So, like, I don't want y'all niggas to do shit like that because we will get canceled, like, immediately. Yeah, don't do shit like that. But I couldn't believe the bitch really was waddling. Like, you should try to get off the bed and shit. 
But yeah, so y'all ain't gotta worry about doing that with me. Hashtag has over 1 billion views. Most of the videos that went viral were him reacting to the creator called It's Complicated. Y'all know we gonna be reacting people, to that. Mostly women. On the street, asking questions about gender roles. Sneeko would try and predict the answers of the women or react to their answers. Who is better at self-improvement, men or women? Men, yeah, hell I know, women. bro. Women. Self-improvement, definitely women. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of one. Y'all remember when we did that? When we did that? Who's better at self-improvement? Y'all remember that bullshit. Women. Women don't even want to improve. They think they're all, look, look at these bitches. Watch, I know they gonna say that. You remember they said they tens? One to 10. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. Let's see, Watch. like, it, it th this, this is what I be meaning. Like, women don't even think they need to improve. Why would they? Think about it like this, right? If every single day you woke up and you looked at your phone, bro, I, I saw this one girl on Twitter and she don't even look that good, but she keeps saying how every time she gets, she she's like, oh my God, I got to go through all of these messages on Tinder. First of all, you're still looking for attention because you're tweeting about it. Secondly, you thrive off the attention that you get. Third, you're ugly. Now, if I'm being honest with you, you're ugly. Why do you think motherfuckers being your DMs calling you fat and this and that? You're ugly. But the thing is, you would never feel the need to improve on your weight, your looks or anything like that when every time you wake up, you have to go through hundreds of messages on Tinder. And say, oh man, I got all this attention. I don't even want it. Why would you? Mm -hmm. You get, you got enough. You're good. But you thrive off of it. And you don't need to improve. A lot of women don't feel like they need to improve. Why would they? Like I said, you, you wouldn't need to improve when you feel like you're a 10. They literally are about to be hypocrites in the first sense. I love going to dance with my girls. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is if women didn't like being approached by men, why wouldn't they just go to gay clubs? Yo, real cool. Yo, cool how? Real cool, thank you for that sub. Because uh, uh, uh. you like attention. Uh. How did nightclubs get away with charging men a higher admission fee than women? Isn't that sexist? Yep. Yep. Something they never talk about. Girls free. After a girls free. Guys, they show up to play. Whoa, what? I gotta pay 50 bucks and I gotta pay for her? It didn't matter if it was him uploading to his personal account or other people clipping videos and posting them on their accounts. His name and his message was reaching billions, but not everyone was loving it. Most people say he's mad or bitter, but a lot of people claim his message has been the same over the years. It has. Now he just says it louder and faster. Despite the controversy, his second channel and on more YouTube blatant. is exploding. On July 15th, he had 156,000 subscribers. Two weeks later, he has 439,000 subscribers. With a very simple and effective upload strategy, live stream. Cam says Sne Sneeko apparently got owned by Destiny. We'll have to watch that one of these days. But the thing is, I'd rather watch it on Sneeko's channel because I do respect Sneeko because he he uh he he posts the full debates without uh without you know what I'm saying trying to clip shit out of context and everything like that or just clip it so to fit his own narrative. Because I did see that with playback. I did watch him do that. So they did do that shit. Uh, when y'all niggas tried to tell me, yeah, playback won that debate. No, they didn't. They didn't. Like, if you actually watch the full thing that Sneeko posted, because he posted the full-on debate, yeah, no. Yeah. I had to sit there and go back and watch that shit myself. So that's why I respect Sneeko. So if we watch that, him versus Destiny, I want to watch that on his channel. For a few hours and clip each reaction video as a singular upload. He has a 10 to 30 minute video uploaded to his page about five times per day. The channel is generating about 1 million views daily. Crazy with At these. this rate, he will surpass his main channel in views oh, and Oh, Destiny doesn't do that? Okay. No, I'm just saying, I just don't know. I don't know Destiny. I don't watch the nigga, so that's why I'm saying it, because I've seen other niggas do it. Subscribers in roughly three months. And with all this newfound success, he decided to launch his own social media course. $245 for him to teach you everything he knows about making money on social media. I'm if a, you I'm can't a, afford it, I'm probably going to I'm an affiliate. People sign up through your link, you get a small percentage of the sign up fee. Just because you know me, you think you know me because you see me talk, you're calling it a scam because I can make money off I of wanna, this. I just want to see that's what niggas do. That's not a scam, that's business. Stupid value for money. Grow the fuck up. Do you realize how many hustlers are watching? Look at this. This is this is why you young motherfuckers are so impressionable, bro. And you're so fucking stupid at times, bro. I'm tired of niggas acting fucking retarded. Nigga said, this Jerry Daniel nigga says, damn, so you playback K? So that means I don't like playback because I said that they uploaded something to fit their narrative. So that means I don't like them niggas. Do you see how fucking retarded y'all niggas be acting sometimes? Th th what the fuck? I'm not no playback K. The fuck? I fuck with them niggas. They do what they do. I'm just saying. What I said. What they, what I said, what, what I said and from what I saw, they, they posted something clearly out of context. Purposely to fit their narrative. I mean, they clipped it. They clipped the clips or whatever just to fit their narrative. 
this right now. That's why Ben stopped trying to react to other content creators because y'all niggas be dick riding so hard. Oh my god, he doesn't like my content creator? I have to unfollow him. You do realize we don't have to like the same things. Ready to go and get it? How many people are seeing this opportunity and clipping up a TikTok right now, laughing at your dumb ass? They get $50 for everybody who signs up. The affiliate program is just really good. That's how you grow a business. Multi-level marketing scheme. You just heard another YouTuber, a soy boy, say that, and you're echoing it online. Fucking idiot. Multi-level. You don't even know what that means. What is the soy boy? Crow, you put it in a thumbnail. You what is the soy boy? I quit. I go on the subway one time. I remember I saw this. I knew this was fake off rip. It I'm never streaming again. Yo, it's not. You should see the other guy. I f you take this internet shit too far, bro. You're gonna get back, though. When people saw this, they thought Sneeko barked up the wrong tree. He finally ran into someone that would stand up to his behavior. People were celebrating in the comments. Glad to see him beat up. Bruised and bloody. Yeah, Others suspected it was fake. Thumbnail. Why mention quitting streaming? Why say, you should see the other guy? Just seemed like two random things that goes against his brand. But this was his most viral tweet ever. But it was all fake. Damn, damn. 55K on a tweet. I think, the, what's the most viral we went? Modal, you know. What's the most viral we went on Twitter? <laughs> so, big, I mean, someone who gets hurt too often by everything they hear? Oh, okay. It was all a stunt to prove the power of social media, to prove that everything we see and watch online is fake and manipulated. The people who cared about him will no longer believe him if anything goes wrong in the future. And the people who hated him before just said he had to fake a fight to get views. Nobody was really on his side. Nobody really thought he was a genius, but he did go mega viral. He gained Bro, thousands of followers, like thousands of subscribers, which is exactly what he was trying to do. Sneeko spent years making high quality, professionally- Oh, not nah, parking lot? Oh, the kid in the park, or the Burger King photo? The Burger, what Burger King photo? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, the Burger King photo had like 78,000 likes. The, the, oh, the kid in the park thing had 215,000. Yeah, that was my most viral one. I think they had like, I don't even know how many millions of impressions, like 11 million or something. Yeah, that was my most viral one on Twitter so far produced and edited content. It was objective, it was sincere, and thought-provoking. It took him seven years to reach one million subscribers while doing that. Along the way, he seven gained years, respect, feel me? notoriety, and a career on the internet. But he recognized an opportunity, a shift in social media where he knew exactly how to act, exactly what to say to amass a large following in a very short period of time. Reacting to other people's videos, shouting, screaming, being bold and aggressive, it's probably gonna have him build a bigger following, a stronger following, and maybe even make more money than he ever has in a way shorter period of time. Maybe he's claiming this is all entertainment so he doesn't have to take accountability. Maybe it truly- They quite how long it took you to blow up? Uh, pff, shit, I, I, I don't feel like I've blown up, but I guess uh, it, it was like, uh, uh, like a two year time span where I really did a whole bunch of more, a whole bunch of content and a variety of content. That's when I really blew up with like anime and a whole bunch of rants and shit like that. It really is just genius marketing. Maybe he's just copying another man's successful strategy. Or maybe he is actually going through something. No matter what his intentions are, no matter what viral stunt he pulls next, no matter how long he drags on this new persona, he knows that if he makes one video apologizing for his spastic behavior, that everything can go back to the way things were before. I ain't gonna hold you. That was a good ass video. God damn, bro. You could tell the niggas that really put a lot of time into their content. Holy fucking shit, that was a good ass video. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Shout out to Sneeko. Shout out to yo, who nigga that made this. Shout out to Patrick CC. Damn, that was a good ass video, bro.